We were just really caught up in what it looked like, and uh, second time around, we just wanted to be shot ready and uh, basically run our run our actions and not overthink it. And the last couple of weeks, our kids have just really been sharing the ball well and being a lot more uh, shot ready from the perimeter. And fortunately, we got off to a hot start offensively. I thought, you know, defensively, we had struggles all night long keeping them off the glass, but we were able to survive with our offense. It seems like you played with a lot of energy. Did you sense that energy before the game? Yeah. Uh, absolutely. I, I thought our shoot around was fantastic. Our, our week has been locked in uh, all week long. This team is just every day having more fun with each other. And, uh, they want to want to accomplish big things, you know, and it just always takes that next next game on your on your list there, and uh, you know, just continue to move forward and get better. <laughs> You guys, you guys executed so well from start to finish, but it seemed like a microcosm of the execution came at the end of the first quarter, end of the third quarter. Great execution to get those threes. How much do you think that spark you did going into the second quarter and the fourth quarter? Well, for sure. Anytime you can hit like a clutch shot in the end of a quarter or something with the clock, uh, you know, on, against you on your, or on your side, those things are big momentum swings. You know, having somebody like Tori coming in off the bench to, to, to start you and get you light up. Uh, our bench has just been been phenomenal from day one. Uh, been extremely consistent, and when you get your bench as consistent as your starting lineup, you, special things can happen. And this is what this group has done all year long. You got the net right there. How good did it feel just to, to cut it down on your home court? You know, it felt really special, especially um, just you know with your community there. Uh, this is just a really special atmosphere here at Bozeman. Uh, that's been built by all the people that fill that gym, and you know with your. Uh, Spirit of the West and uh, your Spirit Squad uh, for all that they do to create this atmosphere for us to share with all of them, our athletic director and our department. Uh, just uh, a really fun moment, uh, but at the same time, we, we, we address we're not done yet, uh, but it's it's uh, it's something that's really, really hard. And, you know, a lot of things have to go well and right, and these kids have found ways um, to finish games, and we just wanted to celebrate that with them. Within the scope of this program, though, you did this two weeks before the end of the regular season, and you did it against Montana. So how big of a moment, what does that say about where you are at right now as a program in general? Well, I think uh, this, this team has been unique as far as uh, how well they've been able to, to finish some games. You know, we've had uh, a lot of close ones. We've had some overtimes, and, you know, we got two or three of those, and uh, they continue to stay stay locked in and challenge each other and challenge uh, ourselves to get better. And, you know, you just never know how the schedule is going to unfold with the last few weeks. But uh, we still want to build momentum going into tournament, and uh, this is just the, that first step. And now we want to kind of get this behind us and lock, lock in to playing our best basketball at that point. Tori, that three you hit at the end of the first quarter, how much did that just spark the hot shooting for the rest of the first half? Um, I don't know. It was kind of just a, honestly, I didn't think it was in. So like, <laughs> it went in and I was like, okay. <laughs> I don't know. I just kind of felt good after that. And the basket felt a little bit bigger after that shot. And I don't know. I just wanted to be a spark coming off the bench. and. Can I just make a comment though? The basket always feels big for me when she has an open shot. So I'd love for her to continue being shot ready. Uh, she's uh, she's just has such a special quick trigger about her, and uh, I think her game just continues to evolve. Your style of shooting, I mean, you're, you're a set shooter, so when people set you up against a zone, though, when you find your personal zone, how can that build upon itself? So? Um, I don't know. I kind of just like. Always looking to get in the gaps and get in the open shots. Fallon usually is always finding me. She's always looking cross court for me, and I don't know, just kind of find the gaps, and that's really what I look for mostly. Fallon, six six points, double figures, and five and fifteen or more. Where does the offensive team mentality come from? Yeah, this is just so special to me. Um, this is what I dreamed of coming here was. Um, just to play with girls that were so skilled and teammates that worked hard every single day. And um, this is the stuff I envision, you know, envision being with a team where everyone can score. It's not just on one person and cutting down nets and celebrating confetti and water in the locker room. And this is just what I prayed for and what I envisioned. And coming here for my senior year, it's just, <laughs> I can't explain it. It's just really, really meaningful to me. And I know how meaningful this rivalry is and to win both games. and just to have such a bench and such a team supporting you and everyone contributing, there's there's no better feeling. Trish Oliana struggled shooting the balls as well as she laid it up tonight, especially in that third quarter. How big of a boost did that give you? Uh, well, Oli is a boost. You know, Oli's on. Uh, there's special things that she can do, particularly with the ball in her hands. And, uh, 
you know, once she gets rolling, she's pretty hard to stop. And um, I know she didn't feel good about her performance there. I think our entire guard lineup didn't feel uh, good about our offensive performance over there. And, and once again, I thought that was a lot of credit to Montia. And, and uh, the last couple of weeks, the way this team's been sharing the basketball and finding each other, they've just been kind of in, in a zone. We just got to keep them in that groove. And um, But I also have to ad address, like, how Fallon finds people, you know, like, there, there's something about being able to attack a, a zone with somebody that can draw the presence that Fallon does and her ability to not only be a scorer inside but find her teammates, our post play, uh, I think just does a great job of sharing the basketball as well. So it's just one of those selfless uh, characteristics about this team that I think um, helps them shine. Uh, the game at Missoula last night was a little bit more close. Uh, you know, what do you think was the difference compared to this game? You know, what was maybe the strategy going into strategy but just being shot ready and being ready to I don't know just pound them honestly <laughs> um, I don't know I think the crowd is obviously huge like after making my first shot I was like okay this is fun like <laughs> and then they kind of just kept going after that I don't know I think the crowd and our team and the way we're moving the ball right now is just so fun to play like yeah for sure you describe that feeling of climbing the ladder and snipping a piece of the net <laughs> I really can't because I've never felt this way before this is a so fun like I, I don't know like Val said it's just a special team and we have so much fun together we're so happy for each other when we're have when we're successful and it's just a special special moment a special day how do you go about approaching the next two weekends you guys still have four regular season games left to play we sure do yeah we're gonna enjoy this for a little bit um until the scout, scout comes around for next Thursday and Saturday. But yeah, I just think our whole thing this year has been don't worry who we're playing, but how are we going to get better? How are we going to, at the end of this game, say we got better today? You know, things that defensively, obviously, we've just had some miscommunications and offensively we've been pretty hot. So um, like Ben said, we don't want to win just because we're scoring. You know, we want to win because our defense is that good. And I don't feel like we've peaked yet on our defensive end for 40 minutes straight of our hard defense. And we just know that's what we're working toward because we want that to shine especially in the tournament. Um, so for us, it's we still have room to improve, and everyone on that team, on our team knows that. No one is satisfied just with cutting down the nets today. We want to you know, win by 20 the next four and win by 20 in the tournament, you know, but that's not going to happen by just sitting around and being complacent. So we're going to work hard for it, and I know everyone on the team, every day we come in, we act like we're the bottom of the conference, and we, you, have, you have to come in with that work ethic or else, you know, it's just going to slip away from you. So I'd say this team and Coach Ben and all the coaches do a really great job of keeping our heads locked in. Trish, in the next two weeks, though, because you have already gotten the net down, is there is there some things that you can work on that are more explicit about yourselves? I mean, I know that you do that primarily anyway, but to really kind of make sure that the edge of the knife is sharp, so to speak, going into the tournament, because you don't have to necessarily, you know, worry about the other teams. You're playing. Well, the good news is they gave me enough things on film that I have plenty to go on and build off of to get better. Uh, uh, and as Fallon addressed, we're going to really challenge him this week defensively. I think uh, when you hit the Big Sky Tournament, uh, your defense is going to win you a championship. And we've got to be uh, hitting on all cylinders there. Um, we still have a little bit too much miscommunication. And I think these next four games, we're going to be really addressing that. Um, I love what we're doing offensively and uh, how we're sharing. We just got to keep them locked in to making that ball move. There was times where it got stagnant again tonight. But uh, I think that's really the game plan we're moving forward is you don't want to change who you are or change your approach. Uh, really you want to just keep that as consistent as possible. Um, there's obviously a big game coming up with senior night on the agenda. We want to recognize this is a, a really special big senior class for us. Um, but it also starts with Sac State on Thursday. So we've got to take care of business there. Anything else? All right. You guys ready? in the first half, they really filled it up from outside. When they get shooting like that, how tough a team is this to just deal with from a defensive standpoint? Yeah, um, when they're hitting shots from outside, it's tough because you can't get as much help inside. And their post play is good. Like I said before playing them, they can attack from all angles on their team. So you kind of have to hope that they're off a little bit and our defense wasn't what it should be. Uh, we let them get a lot of open shots and open looks. And once they got the confidence that they were hitting shots, um, they just kept rolling off the duck. How much different was this game than the game in Missoula? Because you guys kind of dared them into taking shots, and they couldn't hit a shot. But this game, they seemed to get it rolls. So, I mean, what are the biggest comparing and contrasting you can do? Um, 
I would say, yeah, that last our game at home, yeah, they weren't hitting shots, and that's what got our confidence up, and we were rolling off of that. But here, it's, it's a different atmosphere. The crowd got them going. They were knocking down open looks. Their posts were going to work, and we were having a hard time to adjust to that. Always oh, going to be a high energy game when it's Montana State, but on the interior, especially, it seemed like there was a lot. It was a pretty physical game. Did you sense that? And what, 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 how, what is that for you? Yeah, I think they came out definitely a lot physical than we did. I think we played a little bit soft at times, and we can't let that happen. We got to be consistent throughout the game and bring that physicality right back at them. McKenzie, they, they got the ball about eight seconds left in the first quarter, ran that play and got a three. Did you think that sparked them? Because then they kind of took off in the second quarter. Definitely. Um, anytime you hit like a buzzer like that, it um, sparks momentum. And they built off it. They did a great job of keeping the energy up the whole time. Uh, they never let up. Uh, they they knew they wanted this game, and they played hard the whole time. And we weren't able to answer it like we should have. So we have a lot to learn from it. but. Um, we just have to take what we can learn and move forward with it. We can't dwell on this loss, even though it hurts right now. Um, if we don't take anything from it, then it's more of a loss. But if we can learn from it, it can help us in the future. Offensive game plan-wise, it looked like you guys were trying to slow it down a lot in the first half. I mean, was that kind of the strategy coming into this game? Um, I think they kind of slowed us down, right. honestly. Um, the second half, we were pushing it more, and we were looking to do that. But the first half, uh, they were running on up on us at the beginning, and we were trying to run our sets, but uh, they gave us different looks coming off screens and everything like that. Um, we weren't ready for some of it, but uh, yeah, we tried to slow it down, but they kept speeding it up. As seniors, I mean, for both of you, obviously frustrating loss. Uh, I'm sure it hurts, but how you might not make too much of this loss since you, do, you guys do still have a lot to play for? Yeah, we have a lot of season left, and this is we're going to take this as a learning experience, just like we did the last game. But I think, if anything, we're going to come out of this stronger and better and know what we need to work on from here. How much different does that make them? How hard, much harder does that make them to guard? Yeah, definitely. I mean, obviously, when they shot that way in Missoula, we we're fully aware that uh, you know they'd probably shoot it better here at home. Uh, we also missed 11 layups in Missoula, so feeling like we could shoot better as well. But uh, no, they got off you know to a good start making those, and it obviously makes the zone tougher to stay in. Um, and and then they're you know they're challenging man just because of their transition and um, you know just a handful to try to contain. When uh, when a team goes up 42-21 halfway through the second quarter right in front of their home crowd like that, I mean, how hard is that to get your girls to stay in it and try to chip away the lead? Well, I mean, I, I liked our little run right before half. I thought we showed some fight there. Uh, we you know we kept battling and you know going down 15, 15 in today's world, the basketball really isn't you know the end of the world by any means. So I, I liked our little run at half. Um, uh, went in the locker room feeling like we are much better than we executed out there, and uh, you know we just. We never really had any back-to-back -back baskets there in the first half. It was tough to get anything going, any kind of flow. Um, you know, we weren't getting stops, and then offensively, we just we weren't really connecting. Uh, you know, our posts were getting good looks in the paint, and they weren't going down. We're getting to the line, and uh, you know, so we had some some tough series there. there. Uh, Emma said, you know, you could see it was a very physical game, especially on the interior today. And she said she felt like maybe there was maybe a little more energy from Montana State than Montana today on the floor. Did you sense that? Did you see that? Or what did you see that way? Well, it, it, it's always frustrating when you're not scoring and other people are lighting it up, obviously. It takes a really good team and some mature individuals to, to fight through that. Um, I thought we had, you know, one position where somebody didn't have somebody and they were on each other a little bit about that. But, you know, we reminded ourselves that we're going to stick together and get through this together and we need to communicate better um, so uh, you know I felt, I felt like our girls fought I, I like the run we made even in the second half we kept battling uh, it was just getting a stop on them was was tough to do from a schematic standpoint, did they do anything different either direction from the first time around? What adjustments did they make? Well, there's lots of things they did differently. I mean, defensively, the first time we played them, they literally switched everything. They didn't do that this time um, as much. Uh, you know, our, our post had ample opportunity to really hurt them today. Uh, you know, Abby was 4 for 13 and Emma 4 for 11. <clears throat> 
they're playing behind us down there. You know, those are things that in Missoula they fronted us. So there are some different things they did. Uh, you know, and then obviously, you know, they, you know, it's just the zone's always a lot better when people are missing shots. Balance and depth has been such a strength of this MSU team. How tough is that to play against and kind of game plan for? Um, good. You know, I would say that's kind of been the story of the league this year, though. I, I don't think it's anything in particularly uh, different. There's a lot of teams in conference who are really balanced. Um, but, uh, you know, we've got good balance in our group, too. We had several kids in double figures. I think that's just kind of been something that uh, there haven't been some real dominant scores like we've seen in the past in the last couple of years. So. You know, the second half, it kind of felt like you guys were able to unlock a few things on offense. You know, just what were some things that started kind of working there, you know, as you guys just started getting into the game? We started to tack a little bit more aggressively. You know, we're putting it down and, and getting to the hole a little bit more. Our guards were being a little bit more aggressive. Um, and some of our shots just finally started going down. You know, I, I mean, I feel like we got some of the similar things in the first half that they just weren't falling for us. And you mentioned a couple times too, but you know, does it, does it just feel like, you know, if you guys would have been able to string a few stops together here and there, that, you know, the, the, this whole, whole game would have been changed the play? Yeah, I mean, Kenzie had a, a good backdoor layup that would have cut it to 11, I believe, at the time, 10 or 11. Uh, you make that, you get down into, you know, single digits, you never know what can happen. Um, but uh, obviously, you know, very aware that if, if we're ever going to have a chance to, to crawl back in it, we had to stop them, um, which, you know, that's easier said than done. They've been tough here at home and, uh, you know, scoring lots of points and, um, you know, we needed to be better defensively. With four games left, you're around the cusp of, uh, of a bye. What's your message to the team for this last two weeks? Well, you know, we're taking it one at a time, uh, looking at the schedule. Lots of other people have a lot of tough games left, too. Um, you know, a lot of people we're up against still have to play Montana State and Montana. Uh, so they've got some tough games, and, and we've got to just take care of what we can do, which is learn from each and every game we play in and, and try to get better all every day. And, uh, you know, hope that at the end, you know, we've, we've snuck in there and, and can pull one out. Having lost four straight in Bozeman and they're cutting the nest down, is this frustrating for you as been, having been a part of this program for so long? Well, credit to them. I mean, they're a good team and Trisha's done a good job and they, you know, they've, they've got a good team this year. They're doing a nice job defensively, offensively. Um, obviously, it's, you know, it's something that, yeah, you want, you want to be the ones doing it. Um, you know, it's, it's, uh, we talked about, you know, channeling that feeling of, you know, the frustration of, of not being the ones doing it and using that in a positive way and, um, you know, the, the whole thing being when we get to Boise, you know, it's, I was reminding them, you know, I wonder what Portland State and Eastern Washington were feeling about, like, about this time last year. You know, well, they get to end up playing in the championship. This is not over by any means, you know, when we all get to Boise, it starts over, so. Appreciate it. Thank you.